वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल पी जी के कदम अकेडमी डियर फ्रेंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द वाइब्रेशन मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न दिलोसिटी पिकअप वेलोमीटर इस कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रिंसिपल हाउ इट विल वर्क वट आर दिकेशन सो डियर फ्रेंड्स वी नो दैट द वेरियस पैरामीटर्स आर देयर डिस्प्लेसमेंट एम्पलीट्यूड मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट आर देयर वेलोसिटी मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर देयर acceleration measuring instruments are there and frequency measuring instruments are there different videos on this each on one parameter are there you can watch the video separate video are available in this same playlist so dear friend we are going to learn here in this video the velocity measuring instruments this velocity also it is called as velometer the so friends velometer measuring instrument is uh, working like a seismic instruments the seismic instruments is a uh, measure the velocity of vibrating body and it will pick up the velocity so how it will, why it is called as velocity pick up because the this instrument is inside the here with along with the this instruments that transducer is along with the instruments here you can see the construction of seismic instruments the k is the spring c is the dashboard is there and this pointer is on the scale it is there the this total body is attached on this vibrating body the vibrating body will vibrate then it will be vibrate along with this transducer and this vibration of the body is white and this this mic instrument pointer the displacement will be the x so this is the given detail of the seismic instruments the seismic instrument its relative amplitude what will happen this relative amplitude you can say z is equal to x minus y and if you differentiate this equation z is equal to z dash is equal to x dash minus y dash you can calculate the velocity from this seismic instruments but similarly related to this seismic instrument that velocity measuring instrument we can velometer we can calculate the the by using this mass here mass the spring and the dashboard you can derive this equation z by y is equal to r square upon under root of this at the bracket 1 minus r square bracket square plus bracket 2 twice zeta into r bracket square and this r is nothing but the this ratio of omega upon omega n yeah. this ratio frequency ratio we can call it frequency ratio omega by omega n is very large or we can say the natural frequency omega n is very small as compared to omega vibration body vibration of the body is very large and its natural frequency of the body is very small this instrument is very small natural frequency of this instrument as compared to vibration body so this z by y is nothing but the this equation will get it and similarly if we derive this equation in generalized manner we can say the z dash is near about equal approximate equal to y dash this is the relation that means what the relative velocity is in proportion with the velocity of body when there is a vibration in the body directly will get the values of the velocity for this purpose two instruments are there the we are going to learn but before that the conditions for using the seismometer velocity measuring instrument what are the condition first is the natural frequency of this instrument natural frequency is very small it must be very small near about equal to 0 then it will be z is directly proportional with the y dash z dash is proportional with the uh, output signal is proportional to the relative velocity of the vibrating body it will get the give the value of the relative body so friend we'll see the two types of velocity pickups are there active type active type passive type already i have given in classification that battery when it is required that is active type battery is not required that is a passive type so power source is required power source not required 
these passive type velocity pickup also called as electromagnetic pickup we we'll see one by one the active type velocity pickup construction principle working technique to find the velocity where you use this equipment where it is used this equipment this, you can see the construction in detail here similar to the seismic instrument here is a spring with the stiffness k c is the is a dashboard this dashboard is attached here or the inside this Uh, body here the total liquid is filled we can see the video the picture of that actual seismic meter this active type velocity pickup meter so it shows the active type velocity pickup which is similar to seismometer in construction with slight modification is there that what is the modification is there the wire coil is mounted on this magnet this m with mass m the magnet is there and surrounding these two magnets are there see you can see and this is the frame inside the frame this is filled with the two the mass and dashboard when and it is this instrument is fixed on the vibrating body you can see here the vibrating body is having its displacement y and that vibrating body when it is vibrate the whatever the supplied voltage that output voltage will change according to vibration and that vibration is directly proportional to the this due to this relative motion between the coil and magnet due to relative motion between the coil and magnet across a uh, voltage induced across the coil and that output voltage we are getting here output voltage that output voltage signal is calibrated to give the velocity of vibration it's just like a seismometer in the velometer also damping factor is kept 0.7 here 0.7 damping factor is kept so this is related to active now we'll see here this is the actual active velocity pickup you can see here this is the small equipment and here is the spring here is the coil this is the magnet and this is these are the coils you can see here the damping fluid instead of dashboard here damping fluid with the damping coefficient and here is the connectors are there and like this actual device is there this construction manufacturing company are manufactured this type of the active type velocity pickup now we we'll see the next type passive type velocity pickup it also called as electromagnetic pickup construction principle of working a technique to find the velocity where it is used this equipment you will see one by one the electromagnetic pickup you can see in the figure here the it is construction very simple this magnet is there and as it is shown and the coils are there and the coil output will be there it will you can see in galvanometer this vibrating body is not directly connect contact with the this pickup electromagnetic pickup instruments there is some small gap is there we have to maintain small gap the vibrating body is a ferromagnetic body layer is attached on this electromagnetic pickup and the, between this vibrating body the electromagnetic pickup shown in this figure is fixed at some some distance from the vibrating body what will happen the change in the air gap the vibrating body and the pickup resulting due to the vibration of the body changes in the magnetic reluctance of the path as a result the magnetic flux is cutting across the coil changes and this result in inducing the voltage across the coil how it will happen that will see voltage across the coil it is induced that e is equal to minus n d5 by dt and as per the chain rule you can write d5 by dx into dx by dt the same equation is there this equation were written here this one okay so what will happen the here d5 dx by dt is nothing but you can write dx x dot means the velocity yes the n is what number of coils here the number of coils you can see these are the coils number of coils how much Account to that, that the variation results will get it. 
D5DT is what? A rate of change of flux. This D5DT is rate of change of flux. And the change of flux with respect to distance. D5 by DX. You can see here D5 by DX is rate of change of flux with respect to distance, that X. Okay. Then from this we can write the E is proportional with the X. E is more, means what? Output voltage across the coil that emf induce across the coil and will get the value on the galvanometer and that is in proportion with this velocity so we'll get the output voltage proportionate with the air gap and we'll get the velocity directly from this one this velocity measuring instruments that will pick up has been used for the uh, vibration transducer as a uh, vibration trans on rotating machines for a long time. For a long time, we want to use for rotating machines generally to use for very much purpose, uh, higher purpose. Also, it is used variety of applications. So, friends, if you are not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my PGK Academy channel and share maximum and like the video. Thank you very much.